Hey guys and welcome. This is going to be the shave review of Crown King Kokum Butter Shave Soap. You can take a look there at the marketing for this soap. So Crown King is a new company that's come out in actually the past few weeks at the, uh, at the time of this video being posted. And this, uh, this company is created by Douglas Smythe and Francis Tao. They are the couple behind Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. And I really like Phoenix Artisan and Accoutrements. Uh, I think that they produce fantastic products and really unique scents. And uh, those two just rolled out this new company, Crown King, that's also based in Arizona. Um, I'm not exactly sure why they have a new company, but uh, nonetheless, here it is. And they specialize in these Kokum Butter Shave Soaps. So if you want more information about this soap, check out my lather view. I go into a little bit more depth about the soap, but this is a vegan soap. It's based in, I believe, stearic acid. Let me take a peek here on the, uh, on the tub. Stearic acid, coconut oil, kokum seed butter. Those are the, uh, those are the top ingredients in terms of uh, oils in this soap. An awesome lather review with this stuff. It's a little bit of a softer soap, so it's very easy to load up and extremely easy to lather. I think it really stood out in that regard. It just very quickly went to an amazing thick cushiony lather. It felt very slick on the skin. Really nice scent to it. I have it here in the scent Habon de Guillermo. If you look at there, uh, which is soap of Guillermo or William in, uh, in Spanish, which is the scent of the soap is roughly based off William's mug shave soap. Though I think it's improved. You know, Douglas Smythe and Francis Tao, I'm not sure exactly who crafts the, uh, the scents of their soaps there, but very, very uh, talented uh, scent creator there and I really like the scent of the soap. I think it's better than William's Mug Shave Soap. It just seems better crafted, better ingredients. The William stuff smells just a little more artificial, a little bit more soapy. This has a little bit more of the essential oils coming out and overall better scent in my opinion. And you get here, like I showed you guys, in this uh, white plastic tub. It's a four ounce puck that retails for $15. So it's $3.75 an ounce which just sits outside the range I'm looking for. You know, I really look for a range $2 to $3 an ounce, which Phoenix Artisan and Accoutrements, their soaps fit in that range. This is a little more expensive than that, but it's not a deal breaker in, uh, in my experience. Um, you know, I ordered these pucks, I paid for them, so obviously it's not a deal breaker for me. All right, so let's go ahead here and get started. I just got a shower, facial hair is nice, cleaned out, hydrated, ready to go. I have one day of facial hair growth. I have the soap here, which is blooming while I was in the shower. Just put some hot tap water on top of the puck. Let me go ahead and take that bloom water, add it to my face. So I used to not be a fan of blooming soaps, but uh, you know, over the past few months I've been blooming my soaps. I think it adds the overall quality of shave. Plus, you get the bloom water because after. Uh, when you're about to face lather, you need to add some water to your face. So adding this bloom water to your face, it's not only adding water, but also a, uh, a base of the soap to your skin. So I think that, that just, uh, you know, it kind of starts getting your skin conditioned with the shave soap. So, uh, you know, I really like that a lot and I highly recommend you guys do that. All right. Clean off my hand here for today's shave. For the shaving brush, I'm going with the Samogue Owners Club Bore Brush. So. Uh, it's been a little while since I've used this brush. Um, it's really broken in. You can see when this thing blooms, look how beautiful that brush is. Amazing. Beautiful, blonde, undyed uh, boar hair in there. Look at that thing. It's amazing. I think this is one of the best blooming brushes on the market, if not the best. Um, anyway, it's really broken at this point. And that's what I'm going to be using for today's shave. This was uh, soaking in this mug while I was in the shower. Excuse me there, while I clean off the mirror, when I brought out the brush, I kind of flung water all over the mirror there. Alright, so we go ahead and take this, bring out the extra water in the brush. Keep getting my mirror wet. Alright, and to the puck, I'm going to load up. This is already a softer soap, so especially with it being pre-bloomed, I'm not going to have to spend much time here loading it up. Just a few twirls on the puck. All right, let's go see what I got here. There we go. All right, nice and pasty between the bristles. That's exactly what I'm looking for. All right, gonna go into a face lather. All 
All right, a lot of soap laid down on my skin here. Um, I hope you guys can see it's a little bit pasty at this point in time. That's just because I have more shave soap than to the amount of water I need. So I need to add some water into this lather and it's going to really explode. At least I expect it to explode on my face here. So I'm going to go ahead and take my brush and just dip the, uh, the tips of the bristles here in some hot tap water I have in my sink and work it into the lather. All right, beautiful lather, very easy to build up. It took in that extra water beautifully here. All right, just kind of painting over, smoothing it out. Awesome, very happy with that. All right, for today's shave, I'm going with the Mercor 34C with the fresh Persona Lab Blue Blade in here. First pass with the grain, straight down. I have a little bit of slickness on my hand from the soap, so I take my Allen block here, wet my fingers, rub it on there, gives you awesome grip on your shaving gear. Alright, line the razor up on my sideburn. I put the safety bar right where I want my sideburn to be, add the incline I'm going to shave at, and get going. During this first pass, I'm really just looking for some nice protection from the shaving soap, which this is definitely providing me. Uh, you know, slickness at this point isn't as big of a deal until subsequent passes when this first layer of hair is off your skin. So at this point, the soap's doing really great. Nice protection. Alright, not dissipating out at all. Tons of soap here left in my last quadrant to shave. First pass, very nice. Lots of slickness behind. I'm actually experiencing more slickness I can feel now on my skin than I initially noticed in my lather review. Sometimes in the lather review it's hard to tell uh, the slickness of the soap, but beautiful slickness here left behind. Very nice. Alright, back to the brush. Second pass, or second lather for the second pass. Loads of lather here in the brush. Alright, second pass, cross grain this direction. Really nice slickness, razor's just cruising right along. No burning or tugging here. Once again, very nice slickness here, still. I have some pesky kind of like non-facial hair that grows up here. It's not like the thick beard growth, just some lighter kind of blonde hairs. Every once in a while, I like shaving those off. Alright, anyway, back to the brush here. Lots of lather left, just paint it on.
Third pass, cross grain this direction. Very nice. Nice and close at this point in the shave. Lots of slickness behind. My skin's feeling nice and hydrated too. Awesome. Alright, back to the brush. Going to clean it out here. See what we got left behind for lather. Clean it out into my left hand. Alright, beautiful. Look how thick that stuff is. Still after three applications. Uh, this is the fourth time back here. Look at this stuff. Very, very thick still. It's impressive. All right, I'm gonna apply it around my face here. Feeling anywhere I wanna get a little bit closer. Razor in my right hand. Go ahead and clean up my face. Really nice protection here. I'm not getting any burning. The soap feels really nice on my face. Alright, feeling around. I'm very happy with where it shapes at. Let me get a little bit more here, actually. There we go. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and get cleaned up for some final remarks. All right, feeling back here on my face. Very nice shave, very close. Really nice post shave left behind for sure. My skin feels very, very nice and hydrated. Wow, amazing. That was a really nice shave. And a little bit of nice scent left behind. It's not powerful, but I, you know, I can smell it there for sure. This is a very pleasing scent, kind of like a citrusy scent left behind, kind of on the more lemon side of citrus. Very nice. I really like that. That was a fantastic shave. Wow. Very close. Very easy. All right. So let's go ahead and go through the points with this shave. And this is where my reviews are about to change. So I got some feedback on Instagram the other day. I can't remember the names right now. Oh, I forgot my phone. Sorry, uh, guys. Uh, let me go get my phone, actually. I want to give you guys some credit here. All right, I have the name. So the first name is Mullen Lab MTB. M O L O N L A B E underscore MTB. Uh, he said, Nick, when you do these soap reviews, can you give us some comparison to other soaps out there, kind of like you did with the Blade reviews? A little sharper, but not quite as sharp as Lab Blues, etc. Uh, use something like Sterling or another popular high value, high performing soap as your base for comparison. And then Svalcourt, S-V-A-L-C-O-U-R-T, echoed that and said, yeah, you know, I think that that's a fantastic idea. So I spent a lot of time thinking about this, and you know what? I think that that is a great idea. I was also inspired by uh, Busta's Soap League that he's doing right now. He's doing like these soap wars comparing two soaps head to head. And I kind of looked at what he was doing and kind of reviewed the way I was reviewing soaps and kind of the feedback from those guys. So thank you guys for your feedback. It's been really, really helpful. And I decided to kind of start looking at soaps in a little bit different uh, way when I do these reviews. 
So, uh, ease of loading. I'm not going to really do that anymore because as long as you pre-bloom uh, the soap or, you know, as long as you load up enough, you know, ease of loading, that's not really a big thing for me. Just load up as much soap as you need. Not really a big deal for me. But ease of lathering. So that's going to be my first uh, category. How easy a soap is to load up. And then I'm going to have two categories in terms of the quality of the lather. The first one's going to be cushion slash protection. The other one's going to be slickness. And the final category is going to be post-shave. So in all those categories, I kind of was thinking about some of the soaps and some of my favorite soaps in each of those categories. Um, so first of all, ease of lathering. Uh, kind of my top bar out there is going to be Katie's Bubbles. That one's a really, really easy to lather soap. Uh, in terms of cushion protection, I'm going to give that top rank to Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements. I love their uh, cushion protection. Slickness, I'm going to give that top spot to Barrister and Man. I think they have some of the slickest soap out there. And then the last one is post-shave. I'm going to give that post-shave category top bar to Sterling Soap. So let's go ahead and compare Crown King Coke and Butter Shave Soap in those categories. Ease of lathering. Um, the easiest one, like I mentioned before, is Katie's Bubbles. Katie's, Katie Bubbles is a vegan soap, so is this one. Katie's Bubbles just erupts into a lather immediately. And this one was very easy. You know, I didn't really have to tweak it much. It very much went to its own lather. Uh, not quite as easy as Kay's Bubbles. I'd put Kay's Bubbles like here, this one just below it. It's right there. Not quite as much as Kay's Bubbles, but still really fantastic. So thumbs up in that category for the Crown King soap. Cushion protection, that category goes to Phoenix Stars and Accoutrements. This is a, another soap made by those same soap makers, and it's going to get top mark in that core category, right on par with Phoenix Stars and Accoutrements. Uh, slickness, that category, like I mentioned before, goes to Barrister and Man. And uh, I don't think that the slickness is quite there. It's good slickness. If Barrister and Man here and bottom of the barrel slickness is down here, I'd put it like here. I think that that's fair. Really nice slickness to it. Not top marks, but still really, really nice. And then Poche. Poche category goes to Sterling. I'm just feeling back here. You know, Sterling has lanolin in it, which is just incredible for Poche. shave um, all right, really nice post shave too. My skin feels nice and hydrated. If the top mark's here, I'm gonna put this one right about here. So overall in all the categories, I think that this is a really, really top performing soap. Honestly, it just about performed with all the other uh, top performers out there. If not, it was very close. Uh, so overall, I think that this is a fantastic soap in terms of performance, really, really awesome. My only ding for this soap is gonna have to be the price point, $3.75 an ounce. I really like seeing soaps getting in that two three dollar mark range um, but once again this is not a deal breaker for me I still purchase this so so anyway just a thing to uh, think about if you are going to purchase this soap so without any further ado I know that this is a new soap out there but if you guys have used it or if you have it please let me know uh, I'm really interested to hear some feedback about this soap you guys are always awesome and chiming in I really do appreciate that even if I don't get back to your comment I still read it and it still affects what I do and say in the video so thank you for that and I'm really trying my best to get back to all the comments out there so please stay tuned I got lots of soaps to review and as always thanks for watching